Good afternoon, welcome to RTR TV. I've come to this woodland because uh, I'm going to use my um, wood gasifier stove that I haven't, I haven't actually used burnham wood on um, out in the woods, believe it or not. And it's just stopped raining, even though it sounds like it's still raining, that's the water dripping off the trees. Uh, I've brought my tarp with me. I don't think I'll be setting it up though, because the blue sky's come out at the moment, so if I don't need to set it up, I'm not going to set it up. Uh, I bought myself a teriyaki chicken to uh, cook up. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit where, by this tree, where all these vines are. It's like a nice spot. So let's get the wood stove going. I bought my deer with me. I uh, don't know if I'll take my deer out on every um, every trip I go on, but I did on this one. So this is my gasifier. I don't know what brand it is. I can't actually remember. There's so many on the internet that look the same. So you know, I'll get it set up, and then you can have a look, proper look at it. So there it is. Lots of different ones with this with different names. Basically the same one. Hang on, what's written on the side? Tom Shoe. There you go, it's the Tom Shoe one. But I've seen these so many different manufacturers or brand names, shall I say. So I'm, I'm gonna use the trivets today. So let's get some wood in there and get a fire going. I bought the old uh uh, Mora Companion HD and I'll make some shavings with this to get, help get this going I'll just catch them on my uh, catch the shavings on my tarp here Lovely sharp knife. Put the old fire starter on the top. Oh dear. There's a dog in distress over there by the sound of it. Hopefully that won't take long to get going. You like these from the top. So I'll give that a bit of time to get going. And I've got myself a red berry tea today rather than coffee. Get the kettle on. <sighs> Smokeless wood gasifier. But, in all fairness, the wood does have to be below the inner lines, the inner holes, and it's not at the moment. So, when it burns down, maybe it will. Red berry, there you go. There you go, smoke's died down a bit now. Yeah, put it in the old cup. There you go, kettle's boiling now. So, let's get the water on. A tea bag, red berries. Let's 
red berry tea. Very nice. How's that fire doing in there? Yeah, seems to be going. So what have I got to eat? I don't want to burn it. Teriyaki chicken stir fry kit. So obviously put the chicken on first, then the veg, and then the um, sauce. Very nice indeed. Let's get that going. Let's get the frying pan on. That trivet's not in properly, is it? Let's get that in. Right. There we go. It's in there properly now. Yeah, I found the proper pan where the handles don't keep closing. So I'll get that warmed up. It's gone out already. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hang on, let's get the gloves on. I need to move it a bit closer to me. The wood does burn a lot quicker. This wood needs to be smaller, really. That's the only trouble with this thing. You can't get small bits of wood in there. Uh, the bits of wood you put in there have to be tiny. Let's find some of the smaller bit. Do it one bit at a time, see how that works. Let's get this hot. Let's just have a sip of tea. Very nice. Right, let's open this up. Smell that. Smells good. Get that nice and hot again. Whoa. Yeah, it's at a bit of a funky angle. It's probably my doing. I'll get a glove on this hand, just in case. Yeah, the wood burns down so quick in these gasifiers. But, there's no smoke. The only smoke really at the moment is coming off of the, fire, out of the, off of the chicken. 
That's good. Just put another bit of wood in there. Gotta be careful, it's trying to melt the plastic on the end of here. Some big old bits of chicken in here too. God, oh, the sun's so bright. Coming through the trees. It's in the trees. It's coming. <laughs> Who knows that song? <laughs> I'm going to break up some of these bits of chicken because uh, they're huge. Also, help it cook a bit quicker, won't it? Let's get these vegetables in. I'll get them through that way. Try and get most of them in. Obviously, this is not the biggest frying pan in the world, is it? Right, that's the veg. Now I'm going to get the sauce in. Oops. There we go. Teriyaki sauce. Put that in the rubbish. Give this a bit of a stir. Oh god, I've let the fire go out again. See, this is the problem. Hang on. Let's get a bit of wood in there. <sighs> what a pain. Now I know why I don't use it very often. There we go. Can't beat the old bush box XL, can you? Let's be honest with you, that doesn't give off that much smoke. Right. Let's get it back on there. Yeah. You do have to keep a constant eye on this to keep it burning. So yes, I've got to say, I prefer the Bushbox XL and my uh, cheap Chinese one don't with this thing. You're constantly checking on it. Do you reckon I should bring my deer out to every expedition I'll go on? It's almost like it's still raining. But it's blue skies out there. I'm, I'm outside underneath this, ca underneath this canopy, it's like raining. Every time there's a bit of breeze, it blows the, blows the water off the leaves. That's the problem. <laughs> Maybe I should have set the tarp up. Not long now. Damn good knife this. 
very sharp. Got my trusty plate. Get that ready. So it won't be long. Bit of meat. Hmm. I'd say it's done. Don't worry, it fell on a leaf. Right, I'd say that was done. Let's just not stand on ceremony. Let's just get this thing on the plate and in my bit. Great. Whew. A fine spread. So there we go, look, teriyaki chicken. Tell you what, I'm just going to put this bit of, I'm going to take these uh, trivets off. Put in this last bit of wood because it's got some juice on it. I want to put that back in the bag. So let's just get this trivet off. Not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Gravy wood. Let's get that just where I burn that. Teriyaki chicken stir fry kit. Mm. Oh my god. Yes. That's so good. Mmm. Oh. Can't believe how bright it is. An hour ago it was pouring with rain. I think it did weather, weather forecast did say there was going to be a bit of a window for about three hours. So, and this is it. This is the window. Tell you what, I'm going to do. Turn you around. I mean, there's a little bit of smoke coming. <coughs> Main smoke you're seeing is coming off of me um, food, but because that's above the holes that are around the inside, that's not gasifying as such. So, uh, yeah, you, you actually need the wood to be below the inner holes on the inside, but. Uh, I don't know. Do I like it or don't I? Not sure. Not sure. Just found a huge chicken bone in this thing. <coughs> That's not good, is it? No. Some critter can have that. Brer Fox would probably have it, won't he? Oh. Been making a pig of myself with this. As usual. I haven't dropped any down myself yet, though. That's a miracle. Mm. Bring it back in a minute.
So there you go. And then you're gone. Lovely that was. Fires out. Well it would be, wouldn't it? <coughs> burns down in next to no time. It probably burns a lot hotter. That's the thing. Very nice. I enjoyed that. Very much. Still got a drop of tea there. Although it is cold. Red berries. Very nice. Chuck that in the rubbish. There we go. It's gone. The ground around here is absolutely soaking. Absolutely soaking wet. <coughs> There's only a few little embers left in there now. I'll put some water on them in a minute. Nice that, red berry tea. Right, start putting things away. That was a nice lunch. Do you like it, my dear? She did. Although she wouldn't have eaten the chicken, would she? She would have eaten the veg though, probably. <laughs> I think the best thing to come out of that um, Camping cook kit that I bought. Uh, what was it for $9.99? I did a video on it and I put the thing up there. It was this kettle? That was well worth it. Probably worth $9.99 on its own. That was because the actual uh, frying pan on it. Well, if you've watched any of my video videos, you'll know what a pain it is trying to keep the handles open on it. Very much a pain. Put that away. <clears throat> now I'm just going to empty this um, Tom Shoe wood stove out and douse it. So I'll turn you around for that, I think. So, douse that with a drop of the old Adam's Ale. And the ground is already soaking wet. There you go. Let's just pour the lot onto it. <laughs> there we go. You can't tell me that's not out. <laughs> well and truly out, as they say. Just got to wait for all these components to cool down now. That's another thing that I don't like about this. The component, there's too many components to it. You know, the old bush box XL, you just open it up, don't you? Everything falls into place, same as the um, cheap Chinese one. But yeah, good fun, I guess. But, and I haven't used it to burn wood. I mean, this is my 181st video, believe it or not. 
and this is the first time I've actually used it in the woods to burn wood on. I've used it with the Trangia burner in a couple of videos, but not to burn wood, and I don't think I'll bother again actually. It's not worth it. The other ones don't give off that much smoke, so I'll stick with them. Yep, it's cool, cool, that's cool. This is the bit that had the wood in it, the wood pan. It's cool. Cool, man. <laughs> so it's um, time to put it away, I guess. I think I've put the kettle in the wrong net. Put the kettle in the wood stove's net. So, yes. If it does pack away. That's how big it is as well. So it's, it's quite, quite chunky, really, isn't it? it? Takes up a bit of space. So, where was the fire? That's where it was. Still see the little bit of wood left, so I'm just going to cover everything up where my feet were. Some more long legs. So, so. Have a look back there. There you go. You'd never know, would you? Flattened a bit by the stump, by the tree trunk where I was sitting, but. You'd never know I was there. And that's the way it should be. Always leave no trace wherever you go. So there's the sun setting slowly in the sky up there. Not going to be long now before it goes down completely. I just wanted to come out today to uh, cook something with the wood gasifier using wood in it. First time I've ever done it. Um, not ever. First time I've done it on film. Um, in the woods. Um, not too sure if I like it. I think I'll stick with the old XL and the old Chinese one, like I said. Uh, so that's what I basically wanted to do, just cook something with um, the wood gasifier, the Tom Shoe, and I've done it. Left no trace, of course. So what I will do is I'll see you next time when I'm roving about, wherever it may be. Look after yourself. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That would be groovy. And I'll see you all next time. Stay safe now. Bye.